In this video, we're going to be using HCNC Abiza Knights and the Last Shadow Sword of the Sea Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, folks, we are back and welcome in, welcome in. We have a good one for you today. We got a couple of giveaways. It's gonna be a good one, I do believe. So today we're using HC and C, and this is the unscented base, but we're also using the Abiza Knights uh, scenting oil. And let's talk first about the base here. This is $19 for five ounces. And on our cost chart there, that is a good price of 380 per ounce. The scent on this is Abiza Nights, I believe it is. And it is very, very nice. I'm gonna put the scent description for you on the screen right there. It smells terrific. I put about three drops in my mix and it is absolutely wonderful. I love these scenting oils from HCNC because you can control the level of scent in your soap and they are fantastic. The base here is in the top shelf base, which is very good. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. No problems lathering whatsoever. I always enjoy using HCNC. And don't forget, if you do pick up something from HCNC, use promo code IMCDB and he will send you a free gift with your order. And we're looking forward to using this today because Abiza Nights smells great. The razor for today was commissioned by Harry Wong and uh, made by Ian. Uh, he took this FMS Shavette razor and then he put custom scales on it and uh, other things as well. He did a lot of work on this razor and we've used it once and we wanted to use this again on Shavette slash straight razor Sunday. And so let's go ahead and get started with it. And thank you, by the way, once again, Harry Wong and Ian for that. Ian does beautiful work and you can find his work in the collaboration section of the HCNC website. All right. The brush for today is the Yachi Aqua brush, which you see right here. And we got a nice lather and it just smells really, really nice. Man, really good. And we got a good quality lather there too. As is always the case with, with HCNC, he provides a very, very excellent product for a very decent price. And we appreciate that about P. Very nice, and this one smells great. I think you should put this one in the soap. Every time I get an oil from Peter, I get around to using one. I'm like, man, he should put this one in a soap, you know. And this is another one that's really, really good. Nice, robust. I used, like I said, about three drops. I know a lot of people use more, but for me, three to four usually gets it, you know, right where I want it. It's being very noticeable. Oh man, that smells great. <laughs> and the lather, very good too, very good. So. We'll see how we do today. The wrist is definitely, it's improving, but it's not there yet. So we'll just hope we can, you know, maintain our technique here. And let's get going here with this razor. I don't have a lot of experience with this razor. So when you're using a razor that you're not experienced with, you really have to sort of, you know, be on your game and make sure your technique is where you want it to be. Let me move this stuff so I can get my towel here because I like to rinse and then just sort of dry that off. There we go. Very nice. The blade in here is Feather Professional, I do believe. I think so at least. And that feels nice. Very nice indeed. Nice and smooth. When you have a good functional Artist Club style blade, it's uh, really, really nice. I prefer the Artist uh, Club style shavettes to the um, DE blade shavettes. I don't know. I like the wider blade. To me, it's a closer sort of approximation of a straight razor. And I like them, you know, for that reason and others. But Ian did a really nice job on this razor. Custom scales, new, you know, pivot pin, thumb screw, all that kind of stuff. Not thumb screw, but you get what I'm saying. He's done a lot of work on it, <laughs> let's put it that way. I can't even think, I slept in a little bit today, so. Ordinarily, I'm up quite early to try to do things, but today I don't have to do quite as much because, you know, it's a weekend, so. Uh, I don't have to work, so that takes some off. So I slept in a little bit and it felt good to sleep in a little bit, honestly. 
All right, very nice. Just make sure when you're using straight razors, shavettes, and other razors to the like, that you try to keep that angle pretty shallow and don't come in too steep or too hot, meaning too hot, meaning too fast and too steep, meaning too wide, because that's when you can get yourself. I saw uh, General Grievance the other day, Marion, he uh, came in a little steep and made a little memory line. So when you are using an open blade razor, which this is open blade, meaning there's no safety bar or anything to protect you, you do have to pay attention to what you're doing more so than with a DE generally. Uh, so if you're coming from DEs, again, it's not rocket science, but you do have to pay a little more attention is what I'm getting at. You do have to try to stretch and make sure you're shaving a flat surface. Um, and you do have to be mindful of how you bring the razor to the face. And if you do that, then you can get excellent, excellent shaves. And they will provide for really awesome shaves. But it, more t attention is required. I know some guys have even, you know, when they're set setting the blade down, they've cut themselves because it is just an open blade hanging out there. So you just have to make sure you um, stay mindful that you do have a very sharp open blade in this razor. And there's sort of nothing around, no sorts of guards or anything, no training wheels. And that's the key distinction, really, between safety razors and shavettes is that open blade. It's really that simple. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the soap. Absolutely phenomenal. As always, the scent is great. Um, if you haven't tried HCNC, grab the unscented one. Grab yourself some oils. You're going to love it, or at least I do. I absolutely love it. This is... And as I, I've said many times now, um, when I first heard of this idea of scent your own, I kind of poo-pooed it, to be honest. And then I tried it, and I was like, I was wrong. So when I'm wrong, I'll tell you, and I was wrong in my initial being, initially being skeptical of the scent your own. It is fantastic, and I love it. And the other thing that I like about scent your own is it allows you, let's say you have an underperforming soap. Maybe it's a citrus one and it just doesn't have that scent you want, you can throw on some uh, one of these scenting oils that sort of complements that scent. And now you've got a soap again that has the type of scent that you want. So I like it for that reason. Not only can you use it with the unscented products, but you can use it with products that just, you know, maybe they're a little light on scent and you can bring that scent up. And I think that's really another excellent use case. But m most importantly, you can get the scent where you want it. No more, you know, worrying about you get a soap and there's almost no scent in it and you're very disappointed. Um, as we've, you know, we've had some major releases in the past where we got the soap and there was almost no scent in it. It smelled like just a base and it was a huge disappointment. Well, if I had had these scenting oils at the time, I could have fixed it, you know. And so that's really awesome. Now, I'm not saying you can replicate the scent 100% that it was supposed to be, but you can at least give it something. So where you have the artisans that tend to go a little light, you know, you could take one or two of the elements and bring that scent up. And for me, that's, that's outstanding. So you can sort of put yourself in control because you're an adult, you can handle it. The artisans don't need to tell us what to do and how to do everything and what we can handle. We know that, we can make those choices. And I like that uh, about Pete, he's like, hey, I trust you. You know, you can, you can use the amount of scenting oil that works best for you and I'm happy for you. Meanwhile, on the other hand, some artisans are like, oh, they can't be trusted because that's a terrible idea. And yes, it's been said. So, um, well, they turned out to be wrong because this scent your own concept has been very successful for HCNC and I'm happy. And again, I was a skeptic too. So I have to point the finger squarely at me and go, okay, I didn't really understand what it was about until I used it. And now that I do, I'm like, it's a great idea. All right. Oh, let's, let's, we almost forgot about the giveaway. So let's start by announcing the winners of last week's giveaway. The first one for $25, that's provided by me, is Better Every Shave, and that's Eric, 
email me cdb at imcdb.com and I will send you your gift card. And the winner of $20 provided by the Razor Company is Ronnie Yates. And congratulations, Ronnie. Email me and I will send you your gift card, $20 provided by the Razor Company. So thank you two gentlemen. Really appreciate you. And for the rest of you, we are going to do another $20 and $25. Last week, I think I said $225, but actually I'm providing $25 and the Razor Company is providing $20. So uh, the way that you enter the giveaway is just comment below. I am CDB and uh, you will be entered and we'll draw again next week. And thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate you. And that's my way of of thanking you and also thank you to the Razor Company for providing that $20 gift card and he just reached out one day and said hey I know you're uh, I know you're giving away gift cards every week on your channel let me throw in one and I said sure so thank you Razor Company for that and thank you to the viewers once again we appreciate you all right very nice very nice not bad at all. So congratulations to the winners. All right, let's get this shave in the books because we're starting to drag it out a little bit because we're doing a lot of chatting today. Very nice, very nice. Uh, I say Ian did a magnificent job on this razor. I'm not gonna show you how it loads, but Essentially, there's a little device that pushes out this mechanism that holds it in. I'll show you another time, but today I don't want to drag it out any longer than it need be. So, there we go. Just get a nice, comfortable shave today. That's what we're looking for. Oh yeah, that's very nice. And the scent of this is just filling the room. It's fantastic. Very, very nice, I have to say. Again, check out... Um, HC and C, if you haven't tried these options, the scenting oils are fantastic. And I will link them below for you. And don't forget, plug in IMCDB, and he will send you a little something for your trouble. Oh yeah. Very nice. A little bit right there to, to grab, and I think we are good to go. And thank you so much. Man, I've enjoyed this today. Let me rinse, then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back. And off camera, we did a rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we used a PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no stinging, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse, and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel. Prior to using the magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with the HCNC Unscented Base, along with the HCNC Ibiza Nights Scenting Oil, which is fantastic. I absolutely loved it. I suggest you give this a try because it's very, very nice indeed. I really liked it a lot. We also enjoyed the FMS Shavette Type Razor that was gifted to me by Harry Wong and uh, the custom work done by Last Shadow. Don't forget, you can check out Last Shadow on HCNC's collaboration tab of their website. Thank you so much, Shadow, for this. I had an excellent shave with it today. Really enjoyed it. We used our Yachi Aqua Brush, and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works Brush Soaking Mug. And we're gonna finish it out today with a little bit of Wet the Face, The Quiet Man, complete with the floaties. And we're working this one down slowly, but surely. Let's get a nice helping in here. And we're gonna be off to the races and having a great day. And I hope wherever you are today, you have a fantastic day. I hope you're well, I hope your family's well. Blessings to you. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.